Alrighty, next game up here is the Texans at the Titans. And man, oh man, this is what we're saying. Don't count out the Texans, folks. When they got Tyrod Taylor, they're 2-1 with them at the starting quarterback position. So this Texans team coming off the bye, this shouldn't have surprised us this much. Um, you know, we said this week, hey, we want to start fading the Titans. We know everybody in the national media is on the Titans 100%. People have them at like number one in their power rankings. What are y'all doing at that point? I know they're like the number one seed in the AFC still even after this loss, they're still the number one seed in the AFC. Uh, but this is not a great team overall. And now that they don't have Derrick Henry, we are seeing the cracks of this Tennessee Titans team with Ryan Tannehill being an above average game manager. He's really floundering with no running game. And once again, why we still have why we have Ryan Tannehill and kind of Baker Mayfield in the same category. They need that healthy mix of running, and they also need some good wide receivers to get it done. And unfortunately, it's all on Ryan Tannehill and even last week they were scoring in bunches because off of turnovers it's not like Ryan Tannehill was actively moving the ball through all four quarters so we knew heading into this week we needed to sell the Titans but we didn't even think it would be against this Texans team but now definitely we obviously have to sell the Titans obviously everybody in the media is going to be selling the Titans because when you lose to a team like this the national media instantly sells you so uh, this Titans team, I mean, expect them to maybe collapse a little bit out here. Ryan Tannehill with four turnovers, four interceptions. What? What? Also fumbled twice. Luckily, didn't lose any. But four interceptions by Ryan Tannehill. And that's a huge reason why they lost this game. First interception came in the first quarter when they were at the Texans' 18-yard line, only down 3 nothing. So at worst there, you tie up the game. Second interception came. In the fourth quarter, um, when they were down 19-6, to a chance to do something with the ball here. You're at the Texans' 25-yard line with 11 minutes left. Yes, you're down two possessions, but you're about to get a score right here. He throws a pick. Then they throw a touchdown, making it 19-13, to a chance to get, win, to get back in the game. Six minutes left to get the ball back. He throws an interception at their own 26-yard line. And that makes it 22-13. to 13. Now the game is officially over with three minutes left down, two scores, and Ryan Tannehill throws another interception. So multiple chances for Ryan Tannehill to take the lead or to tie the game up or to make the game competitive again, and he throws an interception. Once again, big shout-out to this Texans team with Tyrod Taylor. The offense is moving the ball decently, consistent throughout the game. That gives, you know, your defense, hey, you know, they're actually doing things with our turnovers. They're doing things with our good work. Once again, team mentality, you know, when you, you know, think about what you think about, you know, when, you know, going back to, you know, when you were in school and, you know, you were in a team project and you were doing all the work, you know, that made you mad. So that made your kind of overall production to the project decrease because you're like, well, nobody's helping me. I got to do everything. So obviously I can't, you know, make everything hundred percent because it's a four person project. One person can't do it all. And that just makes you kind of resent your team and your, all of that. It's the same thing here with this Titans team, folks, um, or with this Texans team, with their offense not getting it done, and then the defense is like, well, why am I trying if my other, if my offense isn't trying? We're just not there. So now that Tyrod Taylor can move the ball, the defense can step up, and that's exactly what we saw last night. So uh, Texans win 22-13, to but let's uh, stick here with the Titans since we've talked about their turnovers. Let's get to Ryan Tannehill throwing the ball 52 times, and that's definitely not Ryan Tannehill at all. I never ever want to see Ryan Tannehill throwing the ball 52 times. I would say every time Ryan Tannehill threw the ball 50 or more times, you lose the game. Um, I don't think we have time to go over all those game logs, but I'm sure that's exactly what it is. Um, so Ryan Tannehill goes 35 of 52. 67% uh, completion percentage. Yeah, that's good, but 323 yards pretty solid for 35 completions but those turnovers not getting it done in the red zone when the field shrinks and that's exactly what we see out of Ryan Tannehill one touchdown four interceptions uh, the running game, they try to do it by committee. Obviously, what they've been trying to do ever since, uh, you know, Derrick Henry goes down. Adrian Peterson, nine rushes for 40 yards. Dontrell Hillard, seven rushes for 35 yards. Deontay Foreman, seven rushes for 
25 yards. So overall, running back by committee kind of got it done. Over 100 yards, we like that. But Ryan Tannehill's turnovers truly lost this Titans team the game. That's really what it came down to. Well done for the Titans defense of stepping up. But Ryan Tannehill throwing those four picks, absolutely inexcusable. All right, and then who was Ryan Tannehill throwing the ball to? Nick Westbrook, a keen leading receiver, seven receptions for 107 yards. Then we have A.J. Brown, five catches for 48 yards. Don Trell, Hiller, Hilliard, eight catches, 47 yards. Chester Rogers, four catches, 41 yards. Des Fitzpatrick, three catches, 35 yards. Touchdown, Anthony Ferksker, five catches, 26 yards. And Deontay Foreman, one catch for 15 yards. Just the interceptions hurting the Titans. Alrighty, now for the Texans. Well done to this Texans team. Getting it done. Moving the ball decently. Taking advantage of turnovers. Uh, one interception went for three points. Uh, the other uh, second interception went for no points. Third interception went for three points. Fourth interception went for no points. So I guess not the best of making it count for the turnovers. But, you know, the Titans don't come away with any points. So we give them that. Um, all right, so Texans, Will Cauley, we give him a little bit of credit for getting this team and winning off of a bye, going on the road and being the best team in the AFC. That deserves a lot of credit for the head coach of David Cully. All right, now Tyrod Taylor, not the best game overall. He went 14 of 24, 58% completion percentage. Didn't turn over the ball, no interceptions. Uh, he did fumble once, didn't lose it. So once again, good. And this is why the Texans lost um, before the bye. The game before the bye was because, you know, Tyrod Taylor throwing all those interceptions. Truly unfortunate there. Uh, so could have been, you know, 3-0 for Tyrod Taylor. But um, unfortunately, turned the ball over two weeks ago. So, didn't turn the ball over here. Very well done. Uh, not the best passing, but, you know, hey, you know, your defense got it done, and you didn't turn over the ball, and you took advantage. So, hey, that gets some wins. Um, get some points, get some green flags, some silver linings, all that. All right, the Texans running game. They got Rex Burkhead leading the team in rushes, 18 carries for 40 yards. Tyrod Taylor took off six times for 28 yards and two touchdowns. David Johnson, 12 or 13 rushes for 18 yards. That is not that great. And then Phillip Lindsay, only one rush for negative three yards. So overall, the Texans, they've got some good running backs, but they don't use them. <laughs> they're not using David Johnson and Phillip Lindsay. The fact that they're using Rex Burkhead as running back number one out here, I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, that's something that I got to shame Will Cully for. Why the hell are we all not using David Johnson and Phillip Lindsay? Those are way better running backs than Rex Burkhead. I do not care what y'all say. Um, all right, and then Tyrod Taylor, who was he throwing the ball to? We got Chris Conley, four catches, 37 yards. Brandon Cooks, two catches, 18 yards. David Johnson, three catches, 16 yards. Chris Moore, one catch, 10 yards. Farrell Brown, two catches, 10 yards. So overall, at the end of the day, the turnovers killed the Titans, and we'll see if they can kind of um, get back to what made this Titans team great, which was the running game, and we'll see if their running game could ever get figured out without Derrick Henry in the backfield. So, Ryan Tannehill, you've got to step it up now. We saw you step not step it up a couple of years ago when you got to the AFC Championship game because of Derrick Henry, and it all relied on you to throw the ball. You come up a little bit short. We're seeing the same things here. We've got to be selling this Titans team. We are actively fading this Titans team. Uh, have to move it up a week. We didn't think we would have to do it right now. We thought we could do it uh, this week, but we have to do it right now, selling the Titans big time. 